You may well be familiar with the burial of notorious King John in Worcester's Cathedral. What you may not have heard so much about is the gruesome story of the tomb's opening by curious antiquarians in 1797. Fortunately for us, a first-hand account survives. Worcester antiquarian Valentine Green requested the Dean of the Cathedral to grant permission for the tomb's opening to help answer an age-old question. Namely, were John's remains still in his sarcophagus? When the tomb was opened, the astonished group found themselves gazing upon the royal remains of the embattled king, and a sketch was hastily made. They noted with surprise to find John's skeleton in an identical pose to that of his effigy which adorned the tomb. The king was wrapped in a damask shroud and a sword lay at his side. Astonishingly, some of John's grey hairs were visible, and a vast quantity of the dried skins of maggots were observed across the king's remains. Several souvenirs were swiped from the open tomb by opportunistic plunderers, and today are held by various institutions.